Greetings uh, to the beloved of God in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. My name is Hosea Mutawun, and I'm from Hamanskral in Unity. Our scripture reading, reading for today will be found in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 17, uh, verses 32 to 34. And uh, I want to title my message, uh, When the Soldier is Empty, the Enemy Advances. This is the time when the Israelites were faced with their worst enemy. The Israelites, at the time, they had the most powerful God. They had uh, the most uh, great God in the world. But they were unfortunately unable to know and recognize the greatness of their God. They did not spend the time with their God so that they can know their God. They were empty of the message of their own God. They were naked of the power of their own God. So if we read in verse 16 in the same chapter, the word of God says, the warrior from the Philistine side took a stand against the Israelites. It says for 40 days and for 40 nights, and he was insulting, swearing at and defying the Israelites' God. And in doing that, not even one response came from the camp of the Israelites because they've been listening to the message of the enemy since they were empty of the message of their own God, since they did not bother spending time with their own God so that they can be filled up with the message and the testimony of their own God. So when you are empty, it is only when you can be filled up with any message, with any testimony. But when you are filled up, there won't be a space for a strange message. So the enemy found that the Israelites empty. They did not have their, the, the message of their God, nor did they have the, the, the testimony of their own God. That is why he gave the testimony, he gave them the testimony of his own. He told them who he was and what he was capable of. And they got scared because they believed what the enemy was saying. Why did they believe? It's because they did not have the message inside them that could work against the message that the enemy was giving them. But when David came, he said to Saul, because he was filled up with the message of a true God, he had the testimony of the of, 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 a true, of his own God, of a true God. He said to Saul, let no man lose heart against this Philistine. I will go and fight him. But because Saul have been part of the people that has been listening to the message of the enemy. Saul tried to plant the message that he received from the enemy inside David. He tried to scare David like he was scared already because he, because he had already received the message of the enemy. But because David was not as empty as all the Israelites were. The message that was inside David declined. It could not allow the new message of the enemy, the new message of a stranger, to sit in David. It kicked the new message. It kicked the, the message of a stranger, the message of the enemy away. And David was not moved from the position. He, 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 he believed in his God. He knew he had a testimony. That is why when he was given a testimony of the enemy, he canceled the, the, the testimony of the enemy with the testimony of his God, own God. He, when he was told that the, the message of the enemy, he gave the message of God. Brethren, as the children of God, let us fill ourselves up with the message of our true God and we will not fear or live in fear in Jesus' name. Thank you for listening.